Chapter 24 Further Traits of Sri Krishna After describing the different opulences of Krishna, Srila Rupa Goswami tries to further describe the transcendental beauties and qualities of the Lord as decorated, enjoying, pleasing, dependable, steady, and predominating. He is also described as a meticulous dresser and a magnanimous personality. These are generally considered to be the qualities of great personalities. Decorated It is said that a person is great if he is decorated with the qualities of being very merciful toward the unfortunate, very powerful, superior, chivalrous, enthusiastic, expert, and truthful. These decorations were manifested in the character of Krishna during his Govardhan Leela. At that time, the whole tract of land in Vrindavan was being disturbed by the rain sent by Indra, as described elsewhere above. At first, Krishna thought, quote, Let me retaliate against this vengeance of Indra by destroying his heavenly kingdom. End quote. But later on, when he thought of the insignificance of the king of heaven, Krishna changed his mind and felt merciful toward Indra. No one is able to tolerate the wrath of Krishna, so instead of retaliating against Indra, he simply showed his compassion for his friends in Vrindavan by lifting the whole of Govardhan Hill to protect them. Enjoying When a person is seen to be always happy, and is accustomed to speak smilingly, he is considered to be in the mode of enjoyment. This trait was found in Krishna when he appeared at the sacrificial arena of King Kamsa. It is described that the lotus-eyed Krishna entered amongst the wrestlers, without being impolite to them, glanced over them with determination, and seemed to them just like an elephant attacking some plants. Even while speaking to them, Krishna was still smiling, and in this way he stood valiantly upon the wrestling dais. Pleasing When one's characteristics are very sweet and desirable, his personality is called pleasing. An example of Krishna's pleasing nature is thus described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Quote, one day, while Krishna was awaiting the arrival of Srimati Radharani by the bank of the Amuna, he began to make a garland of kadamba flowers. In the meantime, Srimati Radharani appeared there, and at that time, Marari, Krishna, the enemy of Mura, glanced over Radharani very sweetly. End quote. Dependable. Any person who is reliable in all circumstances is called dependable. In this connection, Rupa Goswami says that even the demons were relying upon the dependability of Krishna because they were confident that Krishna would never attack them without due cause. Therefore, with faith and confidence, they used to live with their doors wide open. And the demigods, although afraid of the demons, were confident of the protection of Krishna. Therefore, even in the midst of danger, they were engaged in sportive activities. Persons who had never undergone the reformatory ritualistic ceremonies of the Vedas were confident that Krishna would accept only faith and devotion, and so they engaged in Krishna consciousness and were freed from all anxieties. In other words, all kinds of men, from the demigods down to the uncultured, can rely on the causeless mercy of the Supreme Lord. Steady A person who is not disturbed, even in a situation of reverses, is called steady. This steadiness was observed in Krishna 
in connection with his killing the demon known as Bana. The Bana demon had many hands, and Krishna was cutting off these hands one after another. This Bana was a great devotee of Lord Shiva and the goddess Durga. Thus, when Bana was being killed, Lord Shiva and Durga became very furious at Krishna, but Krishna did not care for them. Predominating A person who can affect the mind of everyone is called predominating. As far as Krishna's predomination is concerned, in the 10th canto, 43rd chapter, 14th verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, Krishna is described thus by Sukadev Goswami to King Parikshit. Quote, My dear King, Krishna is a thunderbolt to the wrestlers. To the common man, he is the most beautiful human being. To the young girls, he is just like Cupid. To the coward men and women, he is the most intimate relative. To the impious kings, he is the supreme ruler. To his parents, Nanda and Yasoda, he is just like a baby. To Kamsa, the king of Boja, he is death personified. To the dull and stupid, he is just like a stone. To the yogis, he is the supreme absolute truth. And to the Vishnis, he is the supreme personality of Godhead. In such a predominating position, Krishna appeared in that arena along with his older brother Balaram. End quote. When Krishna, the reservoir of all mellows, was present in the arena of Kamsa, he appeared differently to the different persons who were related to him in different mellows. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that he appears to every person according to one's relationship with him. Sometimes learned scholars describe predominating to mean a person intolerant of being neglected. This peculiarity in Krishna was visible when Kamsa was insulting Maharaj Nanda and Vasudev asking Krishna's assistance in killing Kamsa. Krishna was glancing over Kamsa with longing eyes, just like a prostitute, and he was just preparing to jump at the king. Meticulous Dresser A person who is very fond of dressing himself is called Lalita, or a meticulous dresser. This characteristic was found in Krishna in two ways. Sometimes he used to decorate Srimati Radharani with various marks, and sometimes, when he was preparing to kill demons, like Aristashura, he would take care to arrange his belt very nicely. Magnanimous Persons who can give themselves to anyone are called magnanimous. No one could be more magnanimous than Krishna because he is always prepared to give himself completely to his devotee. Even to one who is not a devotee, Krishna, in his form of Lord Chaitanya, is prepared to give himself and to grant deliverance. Although Krishna is independent of everyone, out of his causeless mercy, he is dependent on Gargarishi for religious instruction. For learning the military art, he is dependent upon Satyaki. And for good counsel, he is dependent upon his friend, Uddhava. Verse 